Hello, this is Mendix Modeler and we will use this tool to create a simple application. So now we have a blank project and you can see how this looks in a browser. So first let's define our data model. So we can create entities that we will use. So for, for this example let's create product entity let's edit some attributes so name which will be a string and price which will be a decimal okay so let's say that we want to product to have a category and the tags so let's rename this entity to a category Let's add it to attribute name. Let's rename this to tags. And also add it to name. Okay, now we have to define relations between our models so we'll create relation many to one from product to category and we will create another re relation with the tag entity but this time It will be many to many. Okay, so this is our data model that we will use in application. Okay, so let's create our first screen. So we, we will add a page which will be a grid for our entity. So we are doing category grid. Okay, so from here we can assign an entity and it will automatically set the attributes from entity. So since we only have a name in a category, you can see that the name is here. What we need the next is a way to add categories so we will use the form page for this okay so same thing as for the grid we have to define which entity this form will represent And we get automatically attributes from the category. Okay, now back to the grid. We have to select what will happen when users clicks on this button. New. We will go to the category form. Okay, so another thing that we have to do before we can see our changes, we have to add this to navigation so category option let's select some icons and doesn't matter let's select star let's 
and on quick we will show a page category grid okay so now we can restart our local application and once it's done compiling we are ready to use it okay so if we refresh Uh, it's still starting okay now it started so after we refresh You can see the new icon here, which will lead us to category page. So here we can add a category. So for example, let's add fuel. And you can see them in the list. Okay, so let's repeat this process for the product. So first we will add product grid. We will set the entity. So he immediately added name and price. And what we want to do here, add another column. And we will set it to show category name. OK. So now we have to do a form. So add page product form. Let's select an entity here. And you can see automatically it will populate this data here so let's try it out but of course we first have to add it Let's use this item icon. Go to a page. This would be product grid. Okay, and one thing that we forgot is to set this new to go to a product form. Okay. So now let's try and rerun it. Okay, once the build is complete, we can check our new entity. So this is a product, so let's add a new.
and you can see here that categories are automatically pulled so let's save this and you can see we have our entity here okay so let's also add option to add tags to a product so to do this we will need to create grid okay let's set it entity okay we will also need a new form tag form select simple form let's select tag entity again for the form back to a grid and set the new to go to that form okay once we have this we can use it to enable adding tags to a system but we will have to change the layout we will need another tag grid let me quickly just create it so this one will be used in a form to select multiple tags so grids Okay, so we are editing the tag grid select and again we have to set TT and set what the new button will do. Okay, and another thing that we need to do now is to change the layout here so we want to pop up layout for this select okay so now back to the product form we will select tag we will set it as editable and our tag grid select will be used to pick the tags okay so we can build the project and try it out seems that we have some errors here so let's check Okay, so we are missing a select on our tab grid. We will add it here. Okay. Let's try it again. Oh, again, some error. Okay, so we have multi selection here, so we have to enable this also. Okay, so finally now should it run. Okay, so it was built successfully, and we can see that there are tags option here.
just refreshed okay so let's add a few tags okay and now from the edit form we can add tags from here so let's select both of those and save and you can see that tags are saved here let's also add a simple login to our application so to do this we will go to a security option okay so after this is enabled we just have to set up users for who will this form be visible but for this example let's we have only one user so we will have to add this to everyone so let's quickly do this Okay, so I skipped adding the permissions, so let us start build. And after the build is done, let's check our application. You will see that sign in will appear here, and we have to log in to see the content. <coughs> 